Good morning, buds. How's I here? Welcome back to another vlog. Winter in Canada. One of the coldest times of the year. I am currently going to the mailbox to see if I got a package. We are almost in the mailbox. You better be careful here because it's very slippery. There's a truck happening over there. So it's all going to be loud over here. Movers. Here we go. Big box three, little box 14. All right, let's see what we got here. Wait. Ah, here we go. Oh, oh what's this? It's a collection slip. I got a package. I guess I have to pick this up at Canadian Post. So I'm probably going to head over there and see if it's there. All right, bud. So apparently my collection card said I have to go to the post office at 2 o'clock. So while I wait, I'm, I'm about to record the next episode of Five Nights at Freddy's Security Breach. So I'm going to basically show you the progress of how I do it. So I used like Bandicam to record my videos. I used to use OBS, but it had a little bit of problems. But when I get my new PC, I'll consider going back to using OBS. So I'm going to quickly load the game of Finance of Freddy's Security Breach. It'll, it'll take a few moments, so I'll probably jump cut here. Here we go. Finance of Freddy's Security Breach. Created by the amazing Steel Wolf Studios. And here we are at Parts of Service. Now, last time I, uh, I took on Monty Gator's course... It was pretty stressful. Even Kevin was stressful as well. Now what I do now is I press the window key and then I just click record. And there we go guys. I'll be I'll be back later to show you the editing phase. Alright everyone, here I am on Audacity. I just finished recording the next episode of Glamrock Freddy Plays Finance of Freddy Security Breach, and I thought I'd show you the process of how I do his voice. So uh, here's the voice right now. Hello everyone, it is me, Freddy, and welcome back to Freddy Fazbear's Mega Pizza Plex. Yeah, not that good, right? Well, with a little bit of uh, editing tracks, I just do this, I enter move mode, and I move it just a bit over here to make it sound robotic. Hello everyone, it is me, Freddy! Nope, too much. Hello everyone, it is me, Freddy! Just right. Now, I select both tracks, click mix and render, Just like that. Hello everyone, it is me, Freddy! Now, I just gotta lower the pitch to minus 11. With very long audio files like this, it does take some time. Hello everyone, it is me, Freddy, and welcome back to Freddy Fazbear's Mega Pizza Plex. There we go, it sounds exactly like Glamrock Freddy. Now what I want to do next is do some noise reduction. Yeah, you notice there's like... A few noises right there so I just go to get noise profile I selected that track where the noise was select all and re repeat the progress of the noise removal and there you go no more noise it's all good now the next thing I want to do is add a little bit of a reverb to make it sound like Glamrock Freddy I always go for vocal one this definitely will take some time so so yeah there you go. Reverb is added. Now let's let's hear what it sounds like. Hello everyone, it is me, Freddy, and welcome back to Freddy Fazbear's Mega Pizza Plex. And there you go, guys. That's how I do my progress of doing Glamrock Freddy's voice in Audacity. Okay, guys, here we are at Movie Studio Platinum. Um, now, by the time this vlog is uploaded, this new Security Breach video will already be out. So you're getting a little behind the scenes of how I do them. So, so here is all... I did all the cutting and everything. I even added the fails. Um, here is one of them. What the heck? What the heck? I... Oh! Freddy fails! Again! <laughs> yeah, I, I immediately thought of adding that whole again thing. Now, I'm just about to add the face emotes. So I'm going to show you how I do them. So I, I find a specific part of when he starts talking. Oh, oh. Uh, mm. Right there. Then I just add my emote. I gotta add a little transition. I always go for push to make him look like he's he's coming up. Like this. Hello everyone, it is me, Freddy. Now, to change the expression, 
I just add another emote. Um, let's go with this. Freddy, and welcome back to Freddy Fazbear's Mega Pizza Plex. All right, and then we get another emote like this. Plex, we are back with Finance and Freddy Security Breach. Now, uh... now he now he's about to explain what happened in the last episode. Like last time, I dealt with a uh, Monty Gator Golf, so I gotta find a, a sad emote uh, like this one. Now, unfortunately, in the last episode, me and Gregory had to take out Monty. <sighs> then I'll add another one. But I'm pretty sure it was all for self-defense, so I still miss Monty dearly. And then? That... But I'm pretty sure it was all for self-defense, so... And now, I just do transition down. Monty dearly. Here, let me extend Monty it a little bit. Monty dearly. But, uh, he did try to hurt Gregory. And there we go. That's how I add my emotes. Now I'm gonna show you how I did the fails. So I'm just about to add like the fail counters. So here's so here's one of them. I'm so sorry. <laughs> now I, I just go ahead and, and insert a text right here. Um, we're going for the uh, the top secret font. I like to make this red. Then I like to do an outline. Um, I like it when it's all black like this. Then I raise the outline like this. It look it looks really really good. Now I just add fail counter one. So there so so far from this video, there's like a total of three fails during the parts and service mini game. So what I'm gonna do is as soon as the the announcer just yells, Glamrock Freddy fails! Then that text will come out. Okay, right there. I'll add a little transition. We'll have it push up like this. Glamrock Freddy fails! Just like that. We'll add a little transition right here. Fails! Why do they have a feature? And yeah, that's how I do the counters. Now, now I just do it again. I'll just copy and paste. I always go for create a new copy of the source m media, because if I go for the second one, it'll uh, it'll automatically change the first one. So I prefer doing it this way, so it doesn't automatically change. See, now we got fail counter two. Um, I just switch these around. Then we're gonna add a third counter. Again. And there you go guys, that's how I did my face emotes and my fail counters. Alright everyone, the video is now being uploaded. As you can tell, I already made the thumbnail. It's really blurry at the moment, but you already but you I'm pretty sure you all you guys are already gonna see it in my recent community post. Now that's all all that is dealt with, it's time to go to the post office and see if the package is there. So let's go. Let's go ahead and see what new movies are coming to the theater. We got The Secrets of Dumbledore, Uncharted, Spider-Man No Way Home, even though the love was completely mirrored. Logos Pizza, Marry Me, Jackass Forever, Another Spider-Man, The Batman, and The Dog. Good choice of films. And over there is the post office. So I'll see you guys when I get out of the post office. This is the package that I was expecting. This package is from T. Mary, aka Jessica, aka Corpse Syndrome, the creator of Mario the Music Box. Oh, I'm really excited to open it. So let's go ahead and open it. Uh, the reason why there's two sticky notes there is because I needed to block out the personal information. So, so why don't we go ahead and get this bad boy open? <laughs> There we go. All right, it's open. Let's see what we got. Oh, we got a few things actually. Oh, first we got ourselves a letter with a really cool Super Mario stamp on it. Um, let's see if I can try to get it open and I can read it. Oh. I gotta say this. Look at the really good detail. I think this is like made out of candle wax or something. Can I be able to open it like this? 
Okay, here we go. We got a letter. Oh! Look at this! It's Marchione! A letter for you. Alright, let's, let's see what this says. Ahem. <clears throat> Dear Cory, thanks for being a longtime supporter for my projects. It's thanks to fans like you that I continue on my projects. Also, I still thank you and your lovely grandma for the stained glass. It is still next to me on the wall of my office. I hope you enjoy these two of a, of a kind figures. Sincerely, Jessica and Corpse Syndrome. In case you guys don't know, my grandmother is a glass artist, and she made this stained glass of one of the sins from the game, Sins of Gl Gluttony. It's over there right now, and on this picture is one from Jessica. And wow, this is a really nice letter. All right. Oh, I better be careful not to ruin this. This is, this is a really good doodle of Marchione. <laughs> Seriously. All right. Let's, let's see what we got. Oh! It, it's, one, it's one of the prints. One of the CGs for the upcoming Mario the Beast Box arc re revamped. Oh, oh, let's see. My hands are a little shaky because I don't want to wreck this. I would be upset if I wrecked this. It's a little bit folded, but that's all right. Okay, carefully get it out. Look at that. Th this looks really amazing. I'll probably put this in the frame somewhere. In the back it says, Mario the Beast Box Art Revamp, Game CG, Corpse Syndrome. <laughs> this is cool. All right, now let's see what this is. Oh, we got a few foams. This, this, this must be one of the figures. Oh, we got a lot of these nuggets. Okay, carefully. Okay, okay, I should probably get, get them out a little, a little slower. Eh, a little slower. Eh, I, I, I don't want to wreck this. Oh. Alright, hang on. Oh, oh dear, one of, the, one, of, one of the parts of the figure broke. It looks like it, it could be an easy fix. Alright, very right, gently. Gently. Alright. Oh. It looks like I can be able to just pop this back in. Okay, yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to have to glue this on, but... Look at this! It's a Marchione figure! Oh, that looks so sweet! This is literally 3D printed according to her. I, uh, 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 yeah, the, the cleaver broke. If you're watching this, Jess, uh, I'm pretty sure I can easily just glue this on. Yeah, I can easily glue this on. But still though, this is very sweet. I love this! Alright, let's check out the other figure. Okay, let's see. Oh! Look at this! It's another Marchione figure. Wow. Oh, oh, I think it came with a stand, but I guess it fell off. Hang on. Let, let me quickly get this out. Okay, it's hard for me to get this out. Okay, might as well get the other package out. Ooh, another print. Ooh. This one looks... I think this one... I think this one is framed. Yeah, this one is framed. That looks really nice. Okay. There's probably some more in here that I need to get get all of it out. Okay, oh, okay, there we go. It's out. Okay, yeah, this is the stand that came with this. It's a, it's a lot smaller than I expected. Hang on. See? Uh, I might have to glue this back on. Eh. Well, hopefully it's not it's not too bad. I don't really have any super glue or hot glue. I think I only have regular glue. Okay, is there anything else in here? Uh, no, I, I, I think that's it. Wow, though. This, oh, easy. Wow, this seriously looks amazing. Uh, yeah, I might have to put a little bit of glue on, but, but other than that, this looks really good. <laughs> I'm going to end this vlog right here. Thank you so much, Jessica and Chloe, for sending me these. They, it really means a lot to me. I love the figure, and I love the print, and I love the letter you sent me. Um, the other figure is currently drying right now. So, but, but this one is all good. I'm going to put this right about here by my monitor. So that way I'll be able to look at it while I'm working. So I'll tell then, guys. Thank you all so much for watching. It's hot other than me, y'all.